is a story as old as time itself. It is a story filled with victory and loss, life and death. It holds within it a history of a nation, whether it rises or whether it falls. This story is filled with tanks and guns, jungles and deserts. It's in our history books. It makes for great movies and novels. But within that story, within that story of war, there are other stories, more important stories. Because they are the stories of people, real people, people we love. They are the stories of dads, moms, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, who leave everything behind to fight an enemy, which in most cases that they have never even seen before. They are the stories of the men and women of our armed forces. These stories are filled with moments that we can never imagine and for most will never even experience in their lifetime. For some, their stories are saturated with acts of heroism and victories over the enemy. But for others, their stories are not. Some of their stories contain moments of loss and defeat, and for some, even the death of their friends. And some are the stories that cause us to feel something inside that we just can't describe because they are stories of troops coming home and being reunited with family and loved ones after being gone for what may seem like an eternity. These stories, these are the stories that matter. These are the stories that are written in the hearts of so many. Their stories are stories of heroes. But I want to share with you someone else's story, a story that is often overlooked. My name is Drew. My name is Caitlin. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm Angelica. My name is Devin. And I'm a military brat. And I'm a military brat. And I'm a military brat. I'm a military brat. And I am a military brat. My mom, she's been in the military for about 10 years. My dad is enlisted right now and my mom is retired. My mom served for 23 and a half years and my dad is in for 25 right now. Uh, my mom, she's in the military. Um, she's been in the military. This is probably going to be her 20th year. My stepdad is the uh, military or in my family and he's been serving in the military for 10 years. My dad is in the military and he has served for 24 years. My, my mom hasn't been deployed, but my dad has two times while, I was, while I've been alive. Um, she's been deployed probably about four times, a um, year long and then six months too, because I had to live with my grandma when she wasn't able to be there for us. So. I mean, it's not her fault. I know what she has to do, so I'm so proud of her. My mom, while I've been alive, has deployed at least five times. And my dad is, I think, seven times since I've been alive. He's been deployed for five or six times. My dad has been deployed for two six-month period deployments. I was about three. I hear stories about me wondering when my dad was getting back wondering how many minutes it was until my dad got back. It's very depressing, and then you worry about them 24-7, like if they're in danger, how, like how many times they have to take cover in a day, it's just very stressful. Um, you really feel lonely, you know, because um, I mean, you're still used to having your mom and that when she's just gone like that, you probably think something bad happened, but... I never know if he's gonna come back or what's gonna happen or what's gonna happen to him. When my stepdad leaves, I ask myself, why does he have to do this? Like, will he ever come back? Is he safe? Is he gonna come back? 
in one piece. I just remember getting to Skype him every week or two because he was always gone doing missions and not being able to have free time to talk to us. There were two times that my dad was deployed and I was scared that he wasn't going to come back. He was in Afghanistan in a, one of the biggest wars and he was getting shot at. Um, I was really frightened and so was my mother actually. And he was actually scared too. Um, but whenever I would talk to him over the phone, he would always try to be strong for us. If you knew our story. If you knew our story. If you knew our story. If you knew our story, you would know that just because we're military brats, it's just as hard on the military members as it is on their kids. No matter who you are, even where we come from, we're all still family. That we're very strong hearted. We don't give up easily. We were raised to be strong and fight through anything. Then you would know that we have to grow really fast. We will always be one big happy family and even though they move or deploy, we'll always still be cool. But because of you. Because of you. But because of you. But because of you. But because of you. My story is not overlooked. My story is not been overlooked. My story is no longer overlooked. Our story is not overlooked. My story is not overlooked. It's on. Oh. <laughs> it's just waiting for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Are you what? Uh, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna keep recording. <laughs> I need flashcards. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what? What? <laughs> okay. So. I can't like push a button. No. Oh, it's uh, going. Oh. <laughs> I was like, "Are you gonna push a button, Neil?" <laughs> But you have to answer the question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>